My friends, welcome back to the channel and to the third episode of Mr. Six Points vs. AI, a series of videos where we'll be comparing answers from Mr. Six Points pamphlets to what AI thinks. In this particular video, we'll be going through some questions from RE2046. Now, the answers by Mr. Six Points in this video are from the Religious Education 2046 pamphlet for grade 10 to 12. Details to get this pamphlet and others is in the description box below. So, let's begin with question number 1A. Relate the story of the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. Five marks. Okay, so remember when narrating a story, simply give the narration in bullet points. And then if the question has five marks allocated to it, try to give at least 10 bullet points. If it has six marks allocated to it, try to give at least 12 bullet points because each bullet point carries half a mark. Then make sure the narration is according to the Good News Bible. Okay, so let me quickly read through this narration which is from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Canarius was governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David, because he belonged to the house in line of David. He went there to be registered with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in clothes, and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them to stay in the inn. Alright, so let me copy this question and then we see what AI will give us. So we continue using ChatGPT. So let me just paste it the way it appears in the question paper. Let's see what it's going to give us. Relate the story of the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. Okay. Okay, so if we wanted to appear the way we're supposed to answer in RE papers, we have to give it more context. So let me just stop this. Let me just paste the question again. Relate the story of the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. But this time, let me say... Uh, relate it in bullet points and according to the good news bible and then uh, good news bible then i can also say don't add any heading so that it just appears as a narration so let me see what this will give us okay so it's narrating it the way it's supposed to be narrated in the exam so it's just bullet points of, uh, of the birth of jesus okay so this particular narration like you saw is from the book of luke so you can also use chat gpt or ai to to answer RE 2046 questions, but remember to give it context. If you just leave it like the way it was at the top here, relate the story of the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, it might give you a different answer. But if you want it to look exactly how you want it to look, you have to give it some context. So relate the story of the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, then relate it in bullet points and according to the Good News Bible, and then don't add any headings. And then the narration is is there. Okay, so let's go to question number one b name any two ceremonies jewish parents carried out for their newly born baby boys and state when each one of those ceremonies took place so any two so here i've given three answers we have circumcision which took place when the baby was eight days old we have dedication which took place when the baby was one month old then we have purification which took place 40 days after giving birth to the baby so let's see what our chat gpt will give us okay, so again i've pasted uh, the question there name any two ceremonies jewish parents carried out for their newly born baby boys and state when each one of those ceremonies took place so let me just give it a little bit more context to say uh, give short points so at least it, it doesn't explain a whole lot Okay, so we have number one circumcision then number two we have redemption of the firstborn okay so 
circumcision is part of the answer problems are six points then redemption uh, of the firstborn is also another ceremony that took place on the 31st day after birth if the child is firstborn son and meets certain other criteria okay so let's go to question number one c c i Utemba does not understand why gifts have to be given to newborn babies and wonders whether that is a custom gift Kutemba three points on the value of a child's birth according to traditions and customs in a zambian home okay, so the answer is six points number one it brings an appreciation of life and then number two child's birth gives an identity to the child then number three it is a continuation of life then number four the child becomes useful and contributes to the community so let's see how our chat gpt will respond to this question so again i've pasted the question there let me just say give short points so that it doesn't explain a whole lot okay okay so it's similar to what mr six points gave us number one the birth of a newborn child is seen as a blessing and a reason for joy and celebration giving gifts helps to strengthen family ties and community relationships showing support and sharing happiness then three were coming and blessing the newborn gifts are a way to welcome the baby into the world and offer blessings for their health prosperity and well-being all right so let's go to question number cii CII, how do people in modern Zambian society today show appreciation for new life? Give two points. Okay, so here uh, I gave three points. We can say choosing a name for the child, protecting and taking care of the baby, and taking gifts when the child is born. So let's see what ChatGPT will give us. So again, I pasted the question there. So let me just say give two short points so that it just gives points. So again, similar to the answers by Mr. Six Points, gift giving and celebratory gatherings. So the family and friends give presents such as clothing, baby supplies and money to a newborn and their parents. Celebratory gatherings, families host gatherings or parties to celebrate the arrival of the new baby, sharing food and joy with loved ones. Okay, so again, it's similar to the answers by Mr. Six Points, but remember in RE, you don't have to write long sentences just keep it short so let's go to question number one d in what ways are teachings of christians on god's direction of human lives similar to those of muslims okay so it's, there's four marks there so you have to give two points but here i gave three so number one is both teach that god directs every person's life and then both christians and muslims teach that god has a purpose for human life Finally, both teach that everything that happens is the will of God. So let's see what ChatGPT or AI will give us. So again, I've pasted the question there. So let me just say give short points so that it doesn't explain a whole lot. Okay, so number one, divine will. Number two, guidance through scriptures. Number three, prayer for guidance. So number one, both Christians and Muslims believe that God's will is paramount and that he has a plan for every individual's life. And then number two, guidance through scriptures. Both faiths teach that God provides guidance through holy scriptures, the Bible for Christians and the Quran for Muslims, which help believers understand and follow God's direction. Then number three, prayer for guidance. Both Christians and Muslims emphasize the importance of prayer in seeking God's direction and wisdom in daily life. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen that AI can be very helpful for revision. So just make sure that as you're asking it to answer a question, you give it some context so that it gives you uh, an answer in a format that will be helpful. In this case, for RE 2046, the answers should be in bullet points. So make sure you keep your answers short and precise. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.